Hello, this is Bonnie from SoulStarBliss.com. Thanks for dropping in today. We're going to be doing our mini April readings, but before we get started, I just wanted to thank you for stopping in, for liking us on Facebook and Google Plus pages, for sharing our videos, for subscribing to our videos, but most of all, I'd like to thank you for watching them. You know what? Spring is here. I'm excited about that. Let's see what's coming up for you. Hello Leo, this is Bonnie from SoulStarBliss.com with your mini April 2016 general tarot reading. Let's take a little shuffle here and see what we've got for our Leo friends. Welcome in spring, Leo. Welcome in spring. Oop. Let's take a look here. Wow, Leo, it says there's an opportunity here for great joy for you this month. Choose joy. It says some of you are worried about overloading, overloading your schedule, overloading your work, overloading your time. It says take time to be happy like a child and things will really be good for you this month. You are such a strong person. There is a change, though. I think you're learning that you have to come first. Yeah, you have to come first in, in um, all things. When you can give yourself enough rest, you're going to feel better. When you can give yourself enough joy, everything should start with you. Go inward, take a look, and then bring that outward. Seems like some of you may be, there's some kind of quick change here with the money for the better. I have the Ace of Pentacles followed by the Page of Swords, meaning there's going to be a quick change improvement in your finances. Maybe you got a new client. Maybe you got a raise. I don't know what it is, but something's going on with your money. Wow, it says for relationship improvements. Okay, those of you who are not in a relationship, maybe you're going to have people calling you or wanting to get with you, but take a look. Because it says your time for being alone is just about over. Even those of you that are in a relationship, sometimes we can cut ourselves off from others. It's time to open our hearts and our minds. It says there's blessings for you in the relationship area. Victory also in other ways. It says that feeling of being alone can certainly have a change. Money definitely is going to improve. But it says that feeling of being alone even when you're with people. You've been looking over what's going on. Plant some seeds for that for spring um, if you haven't already. It says that is about to leave. It says stop making roadblocks for yourself or I'll be happy when I do this or when I get this thing bought, I can have that. No. Make yourself you, your human being part first and foremost and make yourself be the uh, priority. It says in the in the love department if you're not getting what you want maybe you need to take a look at what's going on. Are you with the right person? I don't know that. Only you would know that. But it says state what you need. State what you want. There's going to be improvements there. Working on relationship. Ace of Wands means now. Springtime. There's going to be changes in that area. Also, when you do what you love concerning like work, when you have a passion about it, it overflows into home or into the relationship department. If you're in a job where you actually hate being there and dread every second of it, that also overflows into the relationship department and home. So see what you can do there. Even if you can change how you feel about something such as work, can make a big change for you. Five of Pentacles means dark night of the soul to me. That means pain carried from the past into the future. We need to let that go. Does it have to be forgiven or forgotten? No, but carrying it around can be a big burden for some. It says holding on to something so tight that energy could also make it disappear. So if you're ready, this is a good time in the spring just to let it go. Again, it doesn't have to be forgiven or forgotten. Also a good time to learn new things. Um, I don't know if that's learning from a book, learning from school, learning from a seminar, things that you, you're open to the possibility of learning some new ways. It says you're nobody's fool when it comes to the relationship department. Those days are over. Preparedness in reverse. That means looking back how you got to where you are today. This says a great, um, the Empress, abundance is here for you. What you think about you become, you have the Ace of Cups. Okay, so think about what you want. Focus on that. Keep that picture clear, and that's what's coming for you. It says you're going to do a lot of changes this month. It says that you're going to be making some agreements, especially with yourself. Some of you are thinking about going on a journey or making plans, getting the final uh, tickets, passports, whatever. Whatever you're doing to uh, 
get those finalized, this is a good thing. Your intuition is telling you what you need to do. Listen up. And intuition, when you know what you know and there's no questioning, that's your intuition. If you think you know what you know and then you got that gnawing question, well, what if this happens or what if that happens? That's your ego at work. So learn how to use the other. You all have it and it's good. Leos are, have really good intuition. Make sure that you're using it. You're going to get some surprises this month. Spirit has been watching, working with you, however you want to put it. Things are going to start improving for you immensely. Get ready. It says, oh my goodness, it says, Spirit will help you do whatever it is you want to. Ask and you shall receive. But you got to ask. If you don't ask, you know, how are we going to change things? You definitely are the chariot, one who achieves greatness. Don't bring any past... Um, burdens with you. It's time to let those go. Let those skeletons be gone. Skeletons out of the closet, if you would. It says, now is the time for your plans for the future. You, what you're working on is really going to pay off for you. It says, all those wishes, all those wants, big adventure for you. Let spring be the time for that to begin. I want to thank you, Leo, for stopping by. This is Bonnie from SoulStarBliss.com. It's been my pleasure reading for you today. And I'm going to try to get that mini money and mini love out within the next couple of weeks. And I, again, can't tell you how much I appreciate your watching. Thanks, Leo. We'll see you later. Bye-bye.